NFL picks, week nine. Tonight's game, the New York Jets are getting three at home against Buffalo. You know, I feel bad for Josh McCown. He's doing more than enough to win the game. The problem is, is well, I think it's probably the Jets' defense. What else could it be? I don't know. Josh McCown's playing great as far as I'm concerned. That's too bad. I like uh, Buffalo Bills. Close game. It's a rival. 24-20. Take the Bills. Denver getting eight at Philadelphia. <laughs> I got news for you, Denver Broncos. You guys are in trouble. You guys are. It's going to take you a couple years to rebound. I'm sorry. Philadelphia's on a roll. It's at Philly. Guess what? Philadelphia, 29-13. 20, <laughs> Philadelphia's going to slaughter Denver. Trust me when I tell you that. New York Jets, New York Giants, rather, getting three and a half at home against the L.A. Rams. L.A. Rams, 27, New York Giants, 17. Tampa Bay getting seven at New Orleans. <laughs> New Orleans. Boy, was I wrong about them. I thought they were a joke, and I thought Drew Brees was washed up. Guess what? They're five and two. They are probably the most silent team in the NFC right now. They have a good record, but no one's talking about them. New Orleans will kill Tampa Bay. 33-17. Cincinnati getting four and a half at Jacksonville. <laughs> Shouldn't give them ten because Cincinnati Bengals fucking suck. Led by the worst fucking owner and the worst fucking head coach in freaking franchise history. We, the, Marvin Lewis is the worst coach the Bengals have ever had. And that's saying a lot. We've had some bad coaches, believe me, but Marvin Lewis is fucking terrible. Jacksonville, with that defense, will beat the Bengals by at least 10. You're looking at a 24 to 10 game. 24 to 10, Jacksonville. Indianapolis getting 13 at Houston. Oh, fuck. Well. Indianapolis, you lost to the Bengals last week. That's all you need to know. You are as bad as your record. Actually, you're probably worse than your record. I'll tell you the truth, I don't know how this team got freaking two wins. I have no clue how. Houston will slaughter this team 41-20. to 20. Houston, by all accounts, should have beat Seattle last week. I don't know how they did it. They should have won last week. Baltimore getting four and a half at Tennessee. Tennessee blow, or Baltimore blows out a Miami Dolphin team with Matt Moore at quarterback, and all of a sudden everybody's a believer again? Please, Baltimore still sucks. Tennessee, 28-17. San Francisco getting two at home against Arizona. Guess what? This is where the San Francisco 49ers get their first win right here. I'm taking a gamble. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it and say this is their first win right here. Arizona. Arizona's fucking horrible. So, San Francisco, 21-20 in a shootout accidentally. 49ers get their first win. Probably the only win, but they get their first win. And if San Francisco don't win this game, then they're probably going to go winless. Washington getting seven and a half at Seattle. I'm, I'm sorry, Seattle Seahawks. You barely beat the Rams. The Houston Texans, by all accounts, should have won last week. You guys have been getting lucky. I'm sorry. I'm not really a believer in the Seattle Seahawks. I really ain't. They're a good team, no question, no doubt whatsoever. And, and listen, I am not a Seahawk hater at all, but I'm just calling it how it is. They, they've been lucky to win. I'm sorry. But seven and a half points, that's way too many points. I, I, even though I don't think the Redskins will beat them, but they'll cover. Seattle will win. 12, 31 to 28, but Redskins are going to cover. Dallas getting one at home against KC. <laughs> Boy, if you're the Dallas Cowboys, you got to win. You got to win. Simple as that. It's a winnable game, but KC, I don't know. They're kind of shaky right now. I know they'll beat Denver the snap, but Denver's freaking god-awful. They ain't nowhere near as good as they used to be a couple years ago. So, guess what? I, I, I like the better team here. I think uh, KC on the road wins the game outright. I, I, I do. I, I just think KC and Alex Smith, Alex Smith's been flawless. Dallas Cowboys, I mean, they just, they're, they're up, down, up, down. I mean, I got to go with the more consistent team. I got to go with KC. Miami getting three at home against Oakland. The Oakland Raiders will win this game because Matt Moore sucks. But uh, actually, believe it or not, Jay Cutler, it would be your better option. Honestly, truthfully, as much as I think Jay Cutler's horrible, but he's a better option than Matt Moore. Oakland Raiders, 28-10. Miami can't score with Matt Moore. That's been proven. And finally, the Monday Nighter. The Green Bay is getting two and a half at home against Detroit. Well, guess what, Green Bay? I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys are done. Without Aaron Rodgers, that team is done. This could be a good chance to see how the backup does. I can't remember his name. He doesn't look too bad, but he's no Aaron Rodgers. I mean, matter of fact, I mean, I don't think Green Bay is ever going to have another Aaron Rodgers, to tell you the truth. I mean, that guy's just a freaking beast. He's arguably one of the best quarterbacks of the game. Detroit's going to win this game, and the only reason that is because Aaron Rodgers is out. So... 
Detroit will win outright. Week 9, peace out.